Yo, yo, welcome to PTA Sports. I am your host, Pest the Analyst. And uh, I figured I'd jump on here and I'd give you guys a little Pest perspective. So uh, so let's, let's, let's talk about the New York Giants. Um, I'm going to be honest, man. Uh, I thought about doing a, a review uh, of the game and, and I, and I just didn't, and I kind of just didn't because honestly, like where I'm at right now, I, I kind of don't care. Like, I don't think I've ever been in a, in a, in a spot like this as, as a New York Giants football fan. Like, I don't, I don't think I've ever been in a position where whether the team wins or losses or, or loses, I, I just, I kind of, I'm kind of indifferent. And that's, that's like the way I felt like as I sat there and I watched the game, right? Cause like, you know, on one side, if we win the game, it, it means nothing, right? The only thing that it really means is it means that we won't go three months without winning a football game. Like that's, that's really the only thing that it means. I mean, like, you know, on a, on a broader scale, I guess, you know, it gets Eli back to, to being 500 for his career. But I mean, like at the end of the day, like if we win the game, it means nothing. If we lose the game, right, it it still kind of means nothing because it's just like the same old shit. You know, oh, we lost another game. Oh, all right. That, that's kind of what we do now. Um, I mean, like losing that game would have probably uh, catapulted our coaching staff uh, out, of, uh, out of MetLife, you know, but... Uh, but I mean, like, if, if we would have lost the game, it would have just been like, yeah, whatever. I wouldn't have been pissed. I wouldn't have been angry. I would have been frustrated. I would have just been like, all right, cool. What's next? And so, like, that's kind of where I'm at, man. That's kind of where I'm at as, as, as a fan. It's, it's really like, it's whatever. It's whatever at this point. But I mean, um, I will say this. Uh, I was happy for a couple of things, man. I was happy that, uh, you know, Eli kind of got a send off that he deserved. Like I, I was, I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, I know a lot of people ain't right. I know a lot of people ain't happy with, with Eli getting this kind of a send off. If this is a send off, uh, as it stands right now, as it looks right now, this, this, this is it, this is it for him. Um, but I mean, you know, like, like, like I, like I've said, man, I'm a, I'm an Eli fan. So like. I'm just I'm just glad that that he gets to go out, you know, like this. Uh, I was also really happy with the fact that that stadium wasn't just filled to the to the rim with Miami Dolphins fans. I, I was I was glad that there was, you know, a, a good amount of Giants fans up in there, you know, chanting for Eli. Uh, you know, clapping and, and 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 just you know celebrating them like like that was that was. I'll be honest, man. I got I, I felt good about that. I, I was happy with that. Um, I wasn't. I can't say I was like full on happy with the way he played. Um, two out of the three interceptions that he threw were just just terrible reads, man. I I don't know how a, how a veteran quarterback. You know, makes throws like that, but I mean, listen, it is Eli Manning, right? He's uh, he hasn't played all year long. You know, guess he's still rusty. <laughs> it's whatever, man. Uh, I just I just was shaking my head at, at those two interceptions. Um, listen, I gotta be honest, man. Um, I like what I saw from our defense. I like what I saw from some players on our defense. And I get it, right? We we just played the the Miami Dolphins, a bad team, just like we are. So like, you know, certain players going to ball out against <laughs> bad teams. But I mean, like, you know, some of these some of these young young guys that we got, man, like I, I see some potential in them, and uh, and that that also makes me feel good. You know what I'm saying like, I, I was I was happy with that. So like, hey, listen. Uh, we won this game, right? The game doesn't move us in the in terms of our draft position. We still got the number two spot. Uh, I want to talk about this, man. This is the real reason why why I came here and I sat down in front of this microphone. Like this, that's this is the real reason, man. Is is this draft pick, yo? Um, 
everybody is jumping out the window on Chase Young. Everybody's jumping out the window on the fact that, like, yo, we need to, uh, you know, keep keep losing or whatever. You know, I, I see a bunch of people doing like these scenarios as, of how, you know, we could, you know, keep the the number two pick or, or, or whatever. Like, listen, man. Um, I'll acknowledge that Chase Young is a monster, right? I'll I'll acknowledge that. Um, I'll acknowledge that uh, depending upon the team, Chase Young is is potentially a difference maker. I'll acknowledge that. But like, I personally don't give a shit if we get Chase Young or not. Like, I don't, yo. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't because. I don't think that we're in a position where getting one player is going to make a whole lot of change. Now, granted, we do need pass rush, right? We need it badly. Uh, as it stands right now, man, uh, our only, like, no shit pass rusher is Marcus Golden. We'll see if we re-sign him at the end of the season. Um, O'Shane Zimenez looks like he could be something, right? But, like... I got to pump my brakes on O'Shane Zimenez in terms of being a pass rusher because we thought Lorenzo Carter was going to be a monster in terms of being a pass rusher, and he disappeared this year. So what's to say that O'Shane doesn't disappear next year? I hope that's not the case, but, like, you know, I I acknowledge that we need pass rushers. But we also need offensive linemen. We also need linebackers. We also need a free safety. We also potentially need another cover corner. We also maybe need another wide receiver. We also need a tight end because Evan Ingram is Mr. Glass of the NFL. This dude's hurt every single year. Now he's on IR. That dude ain't gonna ain't probably gonna be a giant. I'm gonna be honest, man. Like like that dude's probably not gonna be a giant uh, after next season because I believe next season is his. Uh, final year on this rookie deal and and if it was me I wouldn't pick up his fifth year option I would not pick up his fifth year option because every season this dude's hurt man and the best ability is availability and right now that's his worst ability so I'm saying we need a lot of we need a lot of players man we need a lot of players and we got a lot of cap space right we got tons of cap space going into the offseason. So can we make some moves? I mean, we can. But like I said in the last Pest Perspective, you know, (laughs) are we going to have to pay these free agents monster numbers to come be a New York Giant? Maybe. So like, yes, it would be really nice to get our hands on a Chase Young. It'd be really nice. And and I'm going to tell you this. if, If we are sitting at the number two spot come the draft because I'm going to do a live reaction to it. If we are sitting at the number two spot in the draft, uh, you know, and and the, the Bengals, who are probably, who I believe, they, they got the number one spot on lock right now. They go, you know, Joe Burrow or, or you know, some other quarterback and, and Chase Young sitting there, best believe I'm going to be like, all right, cool, let's get Chase Young. But I, I just... I, uh, I don't think this is going to be I don't I don't think this is going to change the game for us. All right? Here's what I don't want though. And this is what I'm concerned about with especially getting ready to go into this weekend. Cuz oh man, we got to play we got to play the Washington Redskins, right? Who as it stands has the number 3 pick. They beat us, we flip spots, and they get the number two pick, and we're sitting at a number three pick, probably. What if they get Chase Young? And we got to deal with Chase Young twice a season for the next X amount of years. And I mean, like, that would suck, too. <laughs> like, it just would. I, this is, this is, a, this is a, a rough situation, man. It really is. Um, I'm... I'm gonna be completely honest, man. I'm in the I'm in the school of thought of of trading down. That's where I'm at. I'm in the school of thought of trading down, yo. Trade down, get a bunch of picks, maybe get another pick, you know, for the 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 draft after this upcoming draft. 
get some draft capital and and pick some quality players, man, because we got a lot of holes that we need to fill. And and like it's it's nice that we got all this cap space, right? But we can't just go on a spending spree. We got other players that we're gonna have to sign in the future. And we gotta manage this appropriately. So I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. I, I see <laughs> I, I see all my peers on YouTube. You know, they jumping out out the window for Chase Young. I can't be one of the guys jumping out the window for Chase Young. If we get Chase Young, I, I'll be I'll be excited. Hey, I, I love me a, a, you know, defensive lineman. I love me an edge rusher. I love someone I can go get to the quarterback. All right? I, I love it. You know, the, the, the defensive line, that's my unit, baby. I, I coach defensive line up all day long. That's my shit. So don't, don't get it twisted in saying that I wouldn't be happy if we had him. I just don't care. Like, I don't, I don't care, yo. I would trade down. That's what I would do. I would trade down. I would get a buttload of picks. There's somebody. There's somebody that that really, really wants a quarterback that's willing to mortgage their future for it. And if we got the number two pick, yo, that's the move. That's what I think. Um. So listen, uh, I'm not gonna do a. Uh, I'm not gonna do a. A weekend review, okay? I'm not. Uh, I'm going to utilize this video to talk about a couple of things that I've, I've seen that are a little interesting. Um, I'm sitting, I'm sitting, uh, in the crib last night with the wife, peeping Watchmen. Watchmen was the bomb. If you haven't seen it, y'all go watch it. I'm not going to spoil nothing, but I'm peeping Watchmen. I'm watching the, the episode nine. It's the, the season finale and my phone you know, my phone and a little notification goes off and I look and I see that the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars have relieved Tom Coughlin of his duties. I, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I sat up and I went, holy shit. They got rid of Tom Coughlin? And initially I didn't, I didn't understand why they would do something like that. But read a little bit into it after I was done watching Watchmen. I read a little bit into it and I see the reason why. And honestly, it's a legitimate ass reason. Tom Coughlin was making it so that motherfuckers didn't want to go to Jacksonville. I don't want to be fined 700,000 million trillion dollars because this dude thinks I, I, I shouldn't be sitting on the bench because I'm hurt and I can't play. I, I get it. I totally get it. And I see, uh, I saw that uh, Christy Entertainer Shout out Chris Entertainer. Uh, can't wait to be on your channel. Uh, I saw that, you know, he he kind of made a video. He's talking about like, hey, man, maybe uh, maybe Coughlin can come back in some capacity with the Giants. Listen, uh, no. No. I don't want it. I don't want Tom Coughlin to be involved in anything in terms of football operations. That ship has sailed, yo. It has. Like, if Tom Coughlin was going to step down as a head coach and move up into the front office, you know, when, when he was the head coach of the New York Giants, I was, I, you know what, I would have bought in on that. 100% I would have bought in on that. But at this point in time, no. I do not want the Giants to bring Tom Coughlin in to the front office in any capacity, yo. I do not want it. I said in my big ass rant that uh, I'm sick of the Giants continuously going to the past. I'm sick of the Giants going to the the these guys that you know. Oh well, they were on the staff back in the day, and and there was a coach, or they were in the front office. They they were a, a, a scout for us back in the day when we was you know winning and successful. Yeah, well, you know what? If if they're somewhere else and they're not succeeding, right? Then we can't be concerned with them. Let them let them continue and go somewhere else, all right? Best wishes. I hope they go somewhere else and succeed, but not here because what we need to do is we need to bring in new life to this organization. We need to hire new people. We 100% do. And and uh I, I don't I don't want to bring in someone from our past to, to be in some kind of a position on this team. I, I don't want it. I'm sorry. I don't want it. 
I love Tom Coughlin, all right? I, I love him. But Tom Coughlin's got an old school mentality, all right? Tom Coughlin has an old way of thinking, and I just don't think it works in this day and age of the NFL. I'm, I'm all for his way of thinking, though. If I got somewhere to be, I'm going to be five minutes early. When I step out of the house, I'm going to be dressed appropriately. When I'm doing what I need to do, then I'm going to be doing it the way I need to do it. And if, and if this all relates to my job and I'm not doing those things, then I need to be fined or fired. I'm with them on that. You should be five minutes early because if you're on time, you're late. I'm with that. I buy into that all day long. All right. I don't know about, hey, man, I'm, I'm hurt for this game. So, you know, I'm going to be on the sidelines. I'm going to be here with my team, but I'm going to take a sit over. I'm, I'm going to take a, a seat over here on the bench and chill for a minute. I don't necessarily agree with, with, you know, finding somebody for that. But there are some of the thought process that he has that I, that I rock with. But that shit ain't working with the with this this new class of players. All right. They got too much power, which they should. They should have that power. These players should should be able to control aspects of their careers these players got more power now and when you've got the players association essentially telling all players hey yo don't go there because there is some bullshit like i don't want that here i don't want that i don't want that here so like coughlin in my opinion coughlin needs to go take a seat chill relax and enjoy his life with his family. Dude's like 76 years old, man. Hey, go chill. You you you've done you you've done what you needed to do. You you have nothing else to prove at this point. I know you got a lot of football left in you, right? But like at this point, man, you've done it all. Super Bowl champion two times. You know what I'm saying? You you took you took the Jaguars from being like a whatever team to to contending for Super Bowls and you did it twice on two different occasions I mean it's time to chill bro I appreciate you I really do if, if I'm ever somewhere and I see him Tom Coughlin whatever he's got unless it's like some Louis Vuitton or some crazy like that but whatever he's got that, that, that they're getting ready to charge him for I ain't gonna let him pay for it oh you, oh, you need somebody to pay for this I'm gonna pay for your meal sir I'm gonna pay for your beer sir but I mean, like, yo, it's hey, hey, it is what it is, man. It's time to go sit down. So I don't want Coughlin. I don't want nothing to do with Coughlin. I don't want Coughlin anywhere around the Giants right now. I want a whole bunch of new blood. I want a whole new way of thinking in in you know in the Giants. That's just what it is. Um, so listen, uh, I think I, I I think I've yapped enough, man. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be at this game on Sunday. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be rooting for my team, right? Cause it's real hard for me to root for for, for my team to lose, man. I hate losing. Losing sucks. Uh, I understand the ramifications if, if we win, uh, but it is what it is, man. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna put on all my giant shit, man. I'm gonna sit there. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheer. Uh, behind enemy lines, right? <laughs> I don't know what kind of. I'm, I'm on the Giants sideline, so it should be. I should be surrounded by Giants fans. I shouldn't have to worry about dealing with Redskins fans because I hate the Redskins. Um, but yo, listen, uh, I, I'm looking forward to going and being able to see this game. Uh, I will. I will come back and I will tell you guys uh, about my experience at the game. Uh, so, so you will get a, a game review. I can't promise you that it's going to be on Sunday or Monday. It definitely ain't going to be on Tuesday or Wednesday. It's Christmas. All right. I ain't doing this stuff on, on Christmas. I'm be chilling with the fam, but I will definitely let you guys know, you know, about my experience and, uh, and we'll go from there, man. So, uh, with that being said, man, I appreciate you guys rocking with me. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. All right. And, uh, I'll get up with you guys later. Deuces.